What's good YouTube? Slender Revolution X here. Uh, coming to you guys today with another Orcus combo video. Um, I've been getting a little feedback and you guys have been asking just for another one. Kind of. And what I'm going to do is complete the trifecta. Kind of just go with, you know, we have the basic combo, we have the deck profile. And now we're going to kind of go through the wonky hands that the deck can get. And I'm going to show you guys how to play through those. So, without further ado guys, let's just roll right into it. Alrighty guys, so these are the two hands that I wanted to show you guys how to play through today. Um, basically, you, you know, you're not going to get your standard combo of Venus or Lee plus a uh, unexpected die, things like that. The only thing that is kind of uh, consistent here is that you want to open up with the World Legacy World Chalice. Um, there are ways to play through hands that don't, but generally what happens is in situations like that, you end up on your standard... Um, Orcus combo. Um, but other than that, this is like the way to go full combo board. Um, and I'll show you guys how to kind of run through that. Uh, so we'll start off with this hand here. We'll just scoop this guy back up. Set it to the side for right now because we're not going to need a whole lot. Uh, let me double check. The only thing we're going to need out of this is the Babel. So we'll put that back in the deck and kind of go with this hand. So starting with this hand, um, you know, it's a little wonky. Like I said, basically what's going to happen is you're going to end up having to normal summon the harp horror, um, but having this in hand gives you access to full combo. So what you're going to do with this opening hand is you're going to start off with the unexpected die. You're going to summon your chosen. Here's our field center. Um, and then from the chosen, we're going to go into a pretty standard play of going into Imduk. Uh, the Imduk just allows you to get to the uh, board legacy world chalice, uh, which is really, really strong. So, uh, you're going to use your additional normal here or tribute to normal summon, and then you're going to normal summon your harp horror. So, here's your nightmare combo, just like from the get go. So, um, there's that. Find our nightmare. There we go. Uh, then we're going to resolve, resolve. You're going to get the lead because you haven't used the lead yet. You can optimize uh, gaining advantage with that uh, and the other chosen. Uh, with the lead, you're going to search your guard dragon. So I say these hands are wonky, guys, but with both of these hands, you're actually going to end up with the crescendo or with the babble, and that usually is what happens um, if you end up drawing either of them. Um, so that's kind of how you go through here. Then we're going to go into our other nightmare. And then there's our mermaid. Um, in this situation, we're going to discard the guard dragon, just like we have in per past combos. Uh, to special summon the nightmare all the way on the left. Um, so then we're obviously going to go in here. Here's our just car again. Like I said, guys, this, these these combos are just a bunch of different roads to lead to the same board. Um, and the Justicar is going to go get you your counter trap. Like I said, and the only addition here is you guys are going to end up with both counter traps face down, which is actually just like, there's very few boards that can break this uh, with the amount of counter traps and uh, interruptions that you have. Uh, so then here, we're going to go into our first Galtea. Uh, pointing down. And then this is where we're going to resolve that first... Uh, Guard Dragon, or only Guard Dragon, banish him, chosen, here's our 8, boop, perfect, this is where we're going to go into the Savage Dragon, equip that, so here's our banished, graveyard, field, just for <laughs> having room's sake, um, so then we're going to start into Nightmare Place, Banish, Target, oh no, we have to resolve the Just Car first, so we'll resolve the Just Car, which is going to get you your second interruption as usual. So then the Nightmare Play, Targeting to Special, go to Send, the Harpoor, Harpoor Effect, now these are all pretty standard Orcus plays. There. 
Um, so this is going to become our deco tupper on the other side. Symbols effect. So I'm going to back that gal tail. In gear suit, bring back the symbols. So this is the situation where you run into needing the extender. Um, like I've said in previous in the previous video. Um, and this is where, you know, drawing these cards in this deck, like Wand, the Nightmares, um, the Orcas Monsters, isn't terrible because you can actually send monsters to add this back. So if you send a monster from your hand to the grave, um, you can add the Lee back. So you're going to send the uh, Wand. And then Wand is going to be able to special summon that extender that you need. Um, a lot of times I pick the Horror just because you can then with the Babel, send or special summon another Orcus that just does a lot for you. Um, so there's that. Into our final Galtea for the turn. And then we spin back the Orcus Nightmare to set the Babel. And then because we drew both of these, set both the hand traps, or set the, both the counter traps. So this is what your board ends up looking like, you know, minus all of this stuff. You know, you have the live Dengirso engrave uh, to bring back at any given point. Um, and you have, you know, a bunch of Orcus plays that you can make, plus the Crescendo and the World Legacy Star. So there's two Solemns plus the Boral Savage and just like a lot of interruptions going on here. So. This is with the one wonky hand, um, and I'll go ahead and show you guys the other one that pretty much leads up to the exact same board, but I'll show you the avenue to go through to get there. Alrighty guys, so there's your opening hand, um, and with this hand you're going to do a couple different things uh, that allow you to get to that full board. Uh, first, you're obviously you're going to want to use the emergency teleport to bring out your uh, Chosen, because the Chosen is what allows us to get to the Borload Savage, uh, and it's the only Psychic that we can use in the deck for Emergency Teleport. So, um, with this, you're going to go into your Imduk play. Uh, Imduk you can use for the additional normal. And then you're actually going to use Imduk's Grave Effect. Uh, this also works if you have, like, um, another one of these in hand, just the other World Chalice Monster. Um, even if you have the Guard Dragon in hand, uh, you can Special Summon it. But here's your Nightmare play with his Graveyard Effect anyway. Um, so here we're going to go the Nightmare play. And now you're rolling, guys. Like, it, from here on out, like, um, the only, no the nice thing that I like about this hand is you have yet to use your actual normal summon. You've only used the additional normal summon. And that's going to come into play later down the line when we need that extender card uh, to be able to go into the second Galtea. So uh, we'll go ahead and resolve this. Uh, we're going to, because we haven't used the Lee, we're going to go ahead and get the Lee. Uh, the least effect's going to resolve. You know, from here, you, you pretty much have the combo paces that you need. Um, so then we're going to go here into the mermaid. Uh, the mermaid's going to discard this. Uh, then special summon that nightmare all the way on the left. And then we're going to go into our ib. Ibs effect's going to resolve. We're going to get our first counter trap. Sorrow to hand. Um, then we're going to go into the Galtea. And then we're going to use the Guard Dragon effect. Banish the Guard Dragon. Special Summon the Chosen. Go into Savage Dragon. Savage Dragon effect. Uh, Ape effect. So then from here, we're going to do the standard Nightmare play that we've been doing. Harpoor, Harpoor effect, summon symbol. And then these two, 
link them away to go into our decode talker on this side. Uh, then hardcore or simple skeletons effect to bring back the one. Overlay into Dingirsu. Dingirsu, bring back the simple skeleton. Um, and then we can finally just use our actual normal summon to be able to go into our second Galtea. And then we're going to use Galtea's effect to shuffle back the Nightmare. To set the Crescendo straight from deck. And then we're going to set our this and this. So now you look at it again, guys. We're right back at that board with the live thing you're soon grave. Uh, except in these situations, we have the two counter traps. Uh, which is kind of insane. Um, and like I said, the only way to go further is if you open up uh, certain cards like Succession in Hand, or certain cards like uh, Monster Reborn. Uh, I think those are the only two, um, but if you open up those, uh, you end up like this. You end up with this board here, which, you know, barring a Sphere Mode is going to be super difficult to get through. Um, just because you have the, the targeting effects that you can negate. You have, you know, the special summonings from the extra decks that you can send to the graveyard to negate with the Savage Dragon. There's just so much that you can do with this deck uh, and so many ways to get to this kind of board um, that even in the most, like, lackluster situations, you should end up with, like, the Galtea. Like, I think in the most lackluster situations, this is your board, which in and of itself is still really strong. Like, or even, like, in situations where you've got this... And you only have the negate here and the interruption here. Like Decode Talker does a lot on its own. Uh, having the Babel does a lot on its own. So there's just a lot of different things that I can do. I encourage you guys to pick it up and play around with it. See what else you can come up with. Um, because like I said, there's so many avenues you can go through. But if you guys like this video, make sure you slam that thumb up, thumbs up button. Uh, it lets me know that you guys really like the content that I'm giving you. If you guys have any comments, concerns, questions, or if you catch something that I did incorrectly in this video, leave it in the comment section below. I always love to hear from you guys. And as always, folks, remember to subscribe to join the revolution today. This is Slender Revolution X signing out, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.